Hi hey everybody, it's Rob Penarola for Technique Peak. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of hip strength and core strength when your patients start running again. And so when you start running, your patients have to maintain an optimal posture. And as when they're running, their foot placement on ground contact should be only about six, eight, maybe ten inches in front of the midline of the body. If they're weak or they fatigue during their running, their hips will drop causing them to have a more forward foot contact placement, more anterior to the body than they should be. So what happens here? Instead of your hamstrings and your hips working efficiently as extensors to propel the patient as they're running, the hip extensors, or especially the hamstrings, since you have greater knee flexion, actually paw the ground and actually work as more like knee flexors and then become hip extensors, making them more susceptible to hamstring injury as well as not as efficient and uh, don't have optimal performance while running. It's kind of like running on a deflated tire. Your car would be lower versus if your tires were properly inflated and with proper inflation you'd get better mileage and more efficient uh, driving of the car as far as response and speed. So again, we want to make sure that our foot placement and our foot contact is in the proper position in regards to the midline of the body and to do that we need to maintain good hip strength and good core strength through the process of rehabilitation prior to initiating running. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.